Today here on RumbleStrip.net and 10 Minute Test Drive, we're attempting to negotiate the concrete jungles here in the holiday season. What does that mean? It means every parking lot of every shopping area is grossly overcrowded, people not paying attention, and there are no parking spots to be found. So, what are we driving and what are we testing through all of this? Well, it's the 2017 Kia Soul Turbo, and we wanted to find out, you know, is this, and does it continue to be, the great kind of urban commuter vehicle that we've known it to be for a number of years and through a couple generations now? That's what we're gonna find out here today on rumblestrip.net and 10 minute test drive. So we're about a week before Christmas here as we record this and if you were to see what's going on outside and hopefully we'll have some b-roll to show you for that um, you'd like okay what's the big deal well the funny thing is is when we picked this vehicle up a week ago we were just returning from a ride and drive in San Diego and when we landed in Detroit we we're in the process of getting about nine inches of snow and it was a very interesting commute home from the airport. What's normally about a 35, 40 minute commute was about an hour and 10. You know, top speeds were right around 40 miles an hour. And this thing handled it just fine. Uh, you know, most people are thinking, oh, I've got to have all wheel drive. It's, you know, it's mandatory. Look, I've lived in Michigan almost my entire life. I grew up on the other side of the state, the west side of the state where we measured feet, in, you know, snow and feet because we got lake effect snow. We're, farther inland, you know, they might get three inches of snow, we'd get like a foot and a half. So, and I learned to drive on a rear wheel drive vehicle, like a 72 Impel, I think is what I, I think is what that was. And so I've always thought it a little overblown of, oh, I need all wheel drive. I need four wheel drive. In the Detroit area, we rarely see more than, you know, five, six inches of snow at a time. And if there's more than two feet of snow on the ground, it's a bad winter. So this Kia in front wheel drive has been just fine. The tires on it, maybe not the best. Uh, they're all season or no season tire Kumos. And when it's dry, it's fine. It's a little cold. You can tell they still struggle a little bit in the snow. They're not the best. So a set of winter tires, sure, that'd be great. Uh, necessary, depending on where you live, maybe. But that's not really the focus of this review. The focus of this review is how is this thing as a daily commuter, run around vehicle, and is it affordable, is it fun to drive, and should you drive it? Should you buy it? We're gonna go after that right now. So being that it's been cold, uh, mostly, just the last couple days finally above freezing, and most of the snow that we had has melted in the last two days, this has been a fine vehicle to run around in. Now, what makes this a fine vehicle to run around in is it has a specific $3,000 technology package that adds heated seats and heated, st heated steering wheel. And when the temperatures are in the high teens and low 20s and near zero with the wind chill, you know, these things aren't necessary, but they're very nice to have. Uh, the steering wheel in particular does a very good job of heating up to the point of it may be even almost a little too warm at times. So if we're going out in the weather, even right now, it's 30 degrees, but wind chill down around 20, gloves are needed. As soon as I get in the car and I can take my gloves off, steering wheel heats up in just a couple minutes and it's very warm to the touch right now. Heated seats, you know, these are cloth seats, but the heated seats are always nice to have. As far as driving dynamics, you know, this thing rides a little stiffer than a normal Kia Soul. It is a, you know, sportier model with the turbo, uh, but it's not obnoxious even over all the uh, frost heaves and potholes that we have around here. Pickup, uh, you know, getting up to speed is, is great. In fact, this thing will light the tires up as cold as the pavement is very easily. Whipping in and out of traffic, it's great. The one major criticism we have for the Soul is the one that we've always had. And that's while the room for the passenger, the driver and the passengers, both front and in the rear is fantastic, 
cargo capacity is greatly compromised. So you can fit uh, like maybe three normal size backpacks in the back and that's about it. You can get, you know, three grocery bags, like if you're using paper grocery bags or even reusable cloth paper ones, uh, you can get about three of those in the back, maybe four if you squeeze it, and that's about it. That's really the only downside in the day-to-day -day application of this vehicle. Now, if you're not carrying a lot, then it's really no big deal. One other small gripe we have with this is the infotainment system and not the normal ones you would think of. It actually is a Harman Kardon system that's upgraded in that technology package with the subwoofer and uh, lights on, on some of the uh, speakers and it's, it's cute. It sounds good. Uh, fairly good actually. Uh, but our issue with it is this. If you are running your phone in uh, plugging it in via you know the wire on the USB here it doesn't automatically pick it up when you like if you plug it in and then start the car it's not going to see it it'll just go through its normal systems and it'll pick up the stereo or XM or whatever you're normally listening to if you you have to wait to plug in uh, your phone, at least for, to, for it to see Apple CarPlay again, Android Auto, we don't own an Android device, but I assume it's the same thing. Uh, it has to be, the, the system has to be up and running uh, and, and acquire the signal for either the radio or XM before you can plug in your phone where it will see it, you know, look at it as, oh, I have a USB device collect, uh, connected now, and then offer you Android Auto and, uh, and or Apple CarPlay bit odd is what it is but in 2017 that seems odd so base price on this uh, 2017 Kia Soul is 22650 pretty fair price in this day and age uh, $3,000 for the technology package on here well it's a lot but I think it's almost uh, mandatory for what you get with it what do you get you get navigation with the eight inch display. Okay, that's great. Um, the Harman Kardon premium audio, the speaker lights, eh, who cares? Uh, the better low beam, the projector low beam lights, those are always better. LED fog lights and positioning lights, eh, okay, fine. Uh, power seats, power mirrors, uh, heated front seats, uh, blind spot warning, USB chargers, LED tail lights, eh, who cares? Uh, that's 3,000 bucks. I think you should go with it. This also does have the $1,000 panoramic sunroof in here, as maybe you can see in one of these shots here. It's nice to have because it lets in a lot of light. Do I think it's necessary? No, again, nice to have if you can swing it, great. So price with delivery, 27,620. Here's the thing about Kias these day, at this day and age. Uh, they are trying to move as many uh, pieces of metal as they can at your local dealership. So you're not gonna pay anything close to 27 grand for this. It'll probably be more like in the 23 to 24. Uh, if you wanna lease one of these things, I'm sure you'll be able to get it for right around $200 a month without too many issues. At 200 bucks a month, I don't know how you go wrong with this vehicle. Uh, even at 250 a month on a lease, it's still very good value for money on this. Like I said, it's fun to drive. It's a great vehicle. If you live in an urban area uh, where parking spaces are tight, uh, this thing fits into all kinds of spaces. It's not overly wide as so many vehicles are these days. And again, that makes it a joy to drive in and around town. So we have a few gripes with this thing. We're gonna have a few gripes with pretty much any vehicle, but overall, we enjoy the Kia Soul. It's a great vehicle, it's a lot of fun, it's good value for money. We're not sure why the sales have dropped off a lot on this vehicle uh, recently. I'm sure changing tastes in the market and whatnot, but you know, if you are if you need a, uh, an affordable vehicle to drive, if you're looking to buy something for your kids going to college or you know your kids in high school or whatever, and you want something that's reliable and safe, it's a good choice. We always enjoy it when uh, we have a Kia Soul to drive.